to catch my breath. I'm hungry. When we stop. This should do it. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. We should gather our strength. According to plan. Enemy approaching. Catch my breath. I tire. Yourself open. Your armor always shines, Valerie. You spend so much time polishing it. But what is the point? Your armor doesn't get any tougher. And you spend much time talking about death, even while we're still alive. I'd say you spend your time even less sensibly. All according to plan. my breath we should gather our strength
all according to plan. Into Victory! Serves you right! <laughs> I'm writing you out of our story. Consider me provoked. You deserved it. <laughs> Let us strike as one. Repent. Uh. Yeah. This should do it. Do not falter. Your life ebbs low. Thank <laughs> you. 
That is not far. Uh, who will provoked. prevail? Does it matter? What for Gora? This should do it. According to plan. my breath. All according to plan. The way you smashed that creep with a spell. <laughs> Left nothing but smoking boots. And the way you picked up those two and crashed their helmets together. It sounded like the bells were tolling. <laughs> This requires your attention. In due time.
waiting for you. The flowers, birds, and wind told me you would come. Oh, my poor flowers. They will perish before long in this fog. with nobody. time there lived a young nymph. She lived in an enchanted forest where thousand birds sung day and night, where the sun often left a star to hang in the tree grounds, and where the starlight fell on sleepy glades of the glowing soft haze. Sitting by the stream with her friends, braiding each other's hair, and adorning their braids with crystals made of dew. We were watching the flowers blooming. But inside her soul, the young nymph dreamed of something more. in fertile soil and sprout without the dream of the sun. The same was true for Anna. She wished to turn her enchanted forest into a true fairy tale kingdom and fill it with thousands of wonders. Plans so ambitious rarely go unnoticed Those great powers decided to punish the nymph for her boldness. They sent a horrible monster to poison the enchanted forest and kill the singing birds. She was forced to flee. And finally she found shelter here, in the stolen land. Here she hoped to sprout the seeds of a new dream. She mourned the dream she lost. But then a magic mist appeared, killing everything that lived. And the nymph cast about, desperately searching for help. So far, these are the fairy tale's final words. Search the area around the hut. Try to find anything that remained of the druid who lived here. I am sure the pog is his doing. This suffocating veil is as vicious as his nature. We should learn more about the pog and the ritual through which it was created. Return to me if you find anything. The past may hide the answers and shape the It doesn't matter now. We need to concentrate on the problems at our doorstep. The Stag Lord, the Druid, the Mist. Yes. The soil, water, and stones here are infused with toxic pain and fear. They poison this place as we speak. You have seen where your enemy's journey began. The 
one called Stag Lord was once the victim of a cruel madman. See now how monsters are born. There comes of regret for a thing you cannot change. There is no time to be lost. We must do away with the fog quickly. I will be waiting. That is not far. As it you should come be. again. Did you find something? An ancient temple. The temple of the stag god. Yes, yes, that must be it. The place of power where the druid created the fog. Perhaps we'll be able to cleanse it from there. The temple hides in the thicket not far from here. You'll need to go there and purge the place of whatever evil still lingers there, summoned by the druid's sinister ritual. Take care. You are my only hope. In due time. All according to plan. Enemy approaching. This spell doesn't work like that. In due time. That is not far. I'm 
not afraid. Not much longer. <laughs> Your aid came at just the right time, stranger. My name is Tristian. I'm a priest of merciful Serenray. Another moment, and I fear I would have been on my way to her chambers, somewhat earlier than my destiny requires. I am a priest of Serenray, and a skilled healer. I have done all I can, but it will take some time for my strength to return in full. But worry not, I will make my way to the trading post nearby and wait there as I make my recovery. I was investigating this fog. I believe you have already discerned that it is magical in nature. I serve Serenre, goddess of sunlight. Discovering an evil magic that isolated living creatures from the sun alarmed me in no small way. I was able to locate the place the fog originated from, but was too presumptuous, and almost got into the beast's teeth. I have never spoken to nymphs, but I believe their assessment is accurate. The creatures occupying this temple are far from ordinary animals. The power that moved them here is related to the fog. The beasts hold the fog as anchors hold a ship dancing in the waves. From what I can tell, once the beasts are defeated, the fog should begin to clear. I will wait for you. This fog bothers me. As it should be. Anything is possible. In due time. All according to plan. Can you make a perfect <laughs> pose? I need inspiration. According to plan. 
This should do it. longer. <laughs> Adventures call to them. Esme, Axel, yes. That is not far. As it should be. To victory! Dead yet. I wrote it like I saw it. In due time. Praised be Saren Ray. Now, if my knowledge serves, the fog should weaken and eventually clear entirely. We need only wait. <laughs> Perhaps somewhere more hospitable? Please wait. You saved my life. I have no treasures or relics, but I have knowledge and the divine power of a priest. I wish to aid you in your journeys. Alas, my wounds won't allow me to join you right now. I will travel to the trading post. I hope to be able to repay you for my life once I recover from these wounds. All according to plan.
This should do it. To victory! More strength fades. Plan. Anything is possible. Esmo, Axe, yes. yes. What's the hold-up? Grotus awaits us. Magritte, Turino. I wrote it like I saw it. Esme, Axel. The yes. end draws near. Magritte, Turino. All according to plan.
All according to plan. In due time. How may I serve you? How may I serve you? Erast, you be praised. You finally returned, my good friend. Christian told me how you helped him at the Temple of the Elk. Thank you for heeding my request. My heart is calm and filled with confidence that I've followed the will of my God. I would like to reward your bravery. I possess no treasure, but please take this as a token of appreciation. I trust in their truth. These visions, they were the voice of a Rostil himself, quiet but clear. Before all this happened, I believed a Rostil had turned his back to me. But now, I see clearly. He has shown me divine mercy, for he has led me to you and invited me to aid in a fellow priest's deliverance. Lady Serenray and a Rostil walk the paths of the gods hand in hand, and so must their servants as well. Tristian is undoubtedly still very young, and youth is a time of naivete and confusion. But I see kindness and strength of spirit in him, traits indispensable to a priest. I sense that all that's transpired thus far is only the beginning, and the future promises great things for Tristian and for you, Baroness. This is why Arastil led me to the Temple of the Elk. Day and night I pray for you and for my young friend. May the stag god lead you down the true path. As you wish.
That's why I'm here. As you wish. What exactly would you like to know? My story? Why not? You deserve to know it. I am a priest of Arastil, and Galt is my homeland. You can imagine what it's like following the teachings of the stag god in a realm torn by discord and strife. Rebellion and suspicion are the pillars of Galt. Led by Erastil, I tried to guide my flock to embrace tranquility and balance and guard them from hasty judgment until I fell from grace myself. Foolish, foolish old Jod. My misdeeds cast a shadow over my life and service. In search of redemption and a balm for my soul, I took to the road. I had come nearly to despair when Erastil sent me a vision of the Temple of the Elk. I knew, well, if you truly wish to know, I'll have to start from the long time back. Werewolves preyed upon the lands around my village. They murdered people for fun or sport and left the corpses to rot on the roads. One night, they broke into a young woman's house and dragged her into the streets. One evening, a traveler came to our tavern, tattered and dirty from days on the road like so many others roaming Galt. He sat quietly in the corner of the tavern, drinking cheap ale, and in an instant, I knew he was a werewolf. I felt it in my soul. It was like Erastil himself had whispered it into my ear. Led by Providence, I left to gather my flock, and we surrounded the tavern. The retribution, the retribution was swift. However, I was tragically mistaken. The young man was no werewolf. He was a bandit, sent to spy on the village by one of the local gangs. We only found out after, when we went through his things. Indeed. I remind myself of this every day when I awaken, and again when I go to sleep. I, who admonished my fellow citizens for the chaos they spread and the transgressions they made, but then I myself. Whatever the case, I knew Arastil was no longer pleased with me. It was terrifying. Imagine how my mind raced when here, in the Stolen Lands, I heard the voice of the Stag God once again. He gave me another chance at service to atone for my guilt. Now I have regained hope, and that very hope is my most precious possession. For some, it is a land of freedom, where power belongs to the people, not to lords or kings. For others, it's a land of never-ending revolution, a realm surrendered to anarchy. It depends on who you ask. For me, I found Galt a violent place. Crowds eager to lynch a stranger for that accent or appearance where a single word uttered at the wrong time or place can spark the people to riot and cities to burn. For me, it is a place inhabited by the frightened and the desperate, always suspicious, watchful of trickery. All too often they are deaf to the voice of reason. They cannot grasp that chaos and lawlessness lead only to yet more chaos and lawlessness. All my life I've tried to break through to these poor people, but alas, I don't seem to have made much progress. As you wish. Of course. It would be my pleasure. Erastil is one of the eldest gods of Golarion. His faith emerged when the first people appeared upon the land. Erastil helped our ancestors cultivate the land and hunt. Even now, his blessing lies with those who uphold the old traditions and keep to simpler ways, far from civilization and the noise of the city.
Tell that to the peasant robbed of all he owns, spending his night in the gutter, hoping to live to see the sunrise. You won't see such things in a village. I'm glad to hear you agree. These days, many are deaf to the wisdom of generations. The word demand does not befit the stag god. Honesty and friendship, loving families, merry weddings, and newborn children in their mother's arms, they bring a smile to Arastil's face. He loves his people and rewards them with fortunate hunts and plentiful harvests. But he has no temper for sloth and vanity. He never bestows gifts upon his faithful without first measuring their worthiness. We ourselves must win our daily bread, but the stag god comes to our aid in times of need and strife. I am happy to... That is not far. As it should be. All according to plan. In due time. That is not far. my breath.
All according to plan. In due time. Enemy approaching. was called for Esme Axe yes yes Can you make an epic pose I need inspiration Requires your attention. <laughs> 